when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? Alright, so what are we getting into today? So we're about to be heading out to Sacramento and we're going to be going to Saxby shop because for the 435,000th time, the C5 is just being the C5. <laughs> we're going to be seeing if the C5 is fixed, uh, pull, the, pull the whole trans out, torque tube, all that, check behind the cover. Um, whole bunch of stuff just went on I don't even feel like getting into it but um, yeah I don't want to jinx it I don't want to say we try to fix this we did that and then it don't fix it so I'm just gonna say we're heading over there to see see if the C5 is fixed uh, if so then we are gonna be tuning that thing this week my tuner is gonna be coming out on Friday Friday he's supposed to be coming to put a street tune on the C5 that way we can drive it around break it in uh, break the motor in and break the clutch in and then he's also gonna be putting uh, or finishing up the tune on the 350Z. The LSA 350Z, we're gonna do a street tune because we have the flex wheel sensor and everything hooked up. We're gonna knock out the 91. And then on Sunday, we're gonna to go to the dyno to do the uh, E85 tuning on the LSA 350Z. So it is gonna be a busy week for us or a busy weekend. We got a lot of stuff to do as long as everything goes according to plan. Uh, the truck should be getting the base tune put on it also with the new 4080 um, and, and all that stuff. So we have to recalibrate that for the trans, uh, for the injectors, the flex fuel stuff. We there's like There's a lot going on this week, but main point of today is to go check on the C5 and see what's going on with that. Ah, what do you think, Grams? You think the car gonna be done? You think it's gonna, gonna work this time? It should be. My Corvette? It should be. Man. That car has been a pain in my butt. You think it's my grandpa? Remember my grandpa wanted the C5 and I got a C5 for him and now he's complaining? Keeps breaking my car. You think it's because I didn't paint the car red yet? <laughs> think so? Just been stubborn old, old man? He wanted a red. <sighs> I gotta do a red yeah. so he'll leave me alone? Yeah. You think that's what it is? Yeah. It just keeps breaking my car. You think he'd be that petty and do me like that? You know he mean and hateful. <laughs> <laughs> ah, maybe it is my pawpaw messing with me from the from the uh, other other world, breaking the breaking my C5 because I didn't do it red like I was supposed to originally. Maybe we'll just go ahead and do that thing red. I just like the way the black on carbon looks, but God damn it, if making it red makes him leave me alone, then we'll do it red. <laughs> Everybody was like, "Why Kimbo ain't got no bed? Look at that, he tears up everything." This fool went through about five beds and he, no. Look, put a put a cover in there for him. He just tore the cover up. Bro, you gonna make me whoop your ass off camera. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? What do you want? Oh no, jump, jump. <laughs> Come on, jump, jump. <laughs> yep, there they go. There they go. This full Kimbo has a thing for tennis balls. Watch this. Hey, hey, go home. No, no, go home. No, no, go home. Stay home. Kimbo, come here. Come here, Kimbo. No, come here. Go home, stay home. Kimbo, nah, stay home. Uh, stay home. Come on, Kimbo, jump. Y'all learn how to jump. Yeah. <laughs> Kimbo can't jump. <laughs> Come on, jump, jump, jump. You wanna jump? Nah, we know you can jump. Come on, Kimbo, jump, jump, jump. <laughs> jump, Kimbo. <laughs> nah, it's like a freaking reindeer. Ah! Come on, Kimbo! Jump, Kimbo! Jump, Kimbo! Ah. 
Come on, come get it. You gonna jump? Come on, jump. Come on, Kimbo. Come on, jump, jump. Come on, jump, jump. Ah, you almost had it. Come on, I wanna see you get off the ground, fat boy. Come on, jump. Come on, jump, jump. Hey, there you go, fat boy. Good boy. Good boy. You finally jumped. <laughs> All right, now that we got Kimbo to jump, let's get ready to head out. All right, we outie, we outie. Oh yeah, y'all can see I finally went and did some, did some yard work. <laughs> finally. Also went and filled in these holes right here. I got tired of driving into them, so these holes are filled in. Whew, just getting here to Saks Speed Shop. Luckily, they got AC inside. 100 degrees outside. It's hot as shit out there. You the only one here? This thing is back together. This thing is kind of, sort of back together. Old exhaust right here. Old headers. Somebody bought those, so those are no longer with us. But, ooh, check him out. Check him out. The new full three inch setup. Headers all ceramic coated. Fitment looks good from right here where I can see. Mm. Looks good, looks good. Bro, it's barely 1.30 and you already complaining? Over here making reels about Ray. If this reel Ain't the fucking truth How much right here. More has the project cost than you thought it was going to cost? Probably, probably twice as much, I think. Ish, thereabouts. Are you okay with that? Well, uh, not exactly. I mean, I really wish it would cost what I thought it would have cost. <laughs> Does your stomach churn? You... I definitely have some stomach churning moments, no question. Over the money? Uh, yeah, and delays, and, you know, not getting it done. And... How much did you put into this company? <sighs> oh, man. Don't tell me you don't know. No, I do. It's about $55 million. $55 million of your own money. Yeah, it's a little more than I expected. <laughs> Ain't that the fucking truth? Hey, blood. As expensive as my bill is, nigga, you better use the toilet for rich, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a, a torque wrench on everything. Here we got the old headers. Versus the new jammies. Ooh, they look all clean, all black. These are inch and seven eighth also, so they are bigger. Looks way cleaner. Nothing was wrong with those, but I just wanted to get some some good shit, some good name brand, and I wanted to do the X pipe. And there was nothing else that made it up to this, so it was like I had to buy an actual header and X pipe combo, or I would have to make a custom X pipe to work with these because I have V bands on there. Almost ready to fire up. Everything's bolted on, tightened up, exhaust fully on. So this will be our first time hearing it with the new exhaust setup or new headers and X pipe. Doing your five point safety inspection. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. trying to pump up so I hear a little ticking the lifter probably pumping up though with the new exhaust not too bad I got a brand new set of cutouts right here that I'll be throwing on 
I'm gonna do them a little different this time. But we do have another set. Putting these on to make this thing chop. I don't like the ticking. Yeah, ticking. It's on this side. Now that I'm over here, it does sound like over here, though. It sounds like it's over here. Low pressure at. Give it a little gas. If the lifter pumps up, fifty-three. Know what we doing? Gonna, that definitely sounded like lifters, though. Call it right or what? What lifters you use? Uh, the the comp short travel lifters. We've been fighting lifters and push rod bullshit, bro. What are you thinking, Johnson lifters and push rods? We're gonna get this thing in the air, make sure it's just not an exhaust leak, but it definitely sounds like it's coming from the driver's side. As I'm standing over here, I don't hear it as loud. Yeah, I think it's on this side. Don't sound like no exhaust leak either. All right, man, so uh, I gotta get out of here. Just had a little uh, little family emergency. <sighs> fucking my granny was trying to drive the Walmart. I don't know why and fucking went and crashed her car into a curb. So I uh, gotta get out there. My cousin's over there right now making sure she's good, but uh, we're gonna have to cut today short. Uh, fuck, man, it's just, oh, shit, man. Day's gone, so I'm about to get out of here, dude. Uh, fucking, this thing's fucking a piece of shit, so. Ah, fuck, bruh. What you got? Your hands on your hip for me. Why was you driving? Because I can't. I got this disconnector from AAA. What number do they give you? Why you got your phone plugged into the charger? Thank you for calling AAA. It's not dead. Go sit down. What you don't put in your claim? That's what I was doing. Why was you driving? Because I wanted to. All right, man. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, uh, most importantly, uh, Granny's cool. She's in there making her insurance claim to to deal with that. Um, during the crash, I guess the police were called, so they had came out, and then their their tow uh, service, whatever. They're gonna take it to their yard, and then um, I guess her insurance company will have to go there, pick it up, and take it to a body shop or whatever to have the suspension, all that fixed. But I mean, whatever. For the most part. Uh, she's good uh, as far as the, the c5 goes uh, fuck um, just got off the phone with Brett literally just about probably like two minutes ago uh, we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do it's looking like that maybe now possibly a push rod is slightly too short and what's happening is it's probably just beating up on the lifter that's probably the ticking we're hearing so um, I'm really at the point where I 
would like to just pull these fucking comp short travel lifters out of here and just do a set of Johnson's with an off the shelf push rod length uh, and call it a day. But uh, I guess um, Brett said that from the beginning, Brett was saying that it would need a, a custom push rod length. I guess the machine shop didn't uh, take that into consideration and they didn't measure for the push rod lengths that we do need. I guess these comp short travels are super finicky on the uh, the tolerances. I guess they're anywhere from zero to 15 thou of, uh, of basically play that, you know, uh, of travel. And, you know, push rod length has to be exact to, to get this to be fine tuned. So, I don't know, man. I personally rather, like I said, I'd rather pull these out, get the Johnsons in, and just be done with this shit because, like, it's insane. Like, ah, uh, it's, it's insane. Like, how many, how many times these valve covers have been coming off? How many times this thing has been apart? It's been on the on the rack for like a month. It's just really been like a like I'm literally about to have my turbo truck done before uh, fucking this motor was supposed to be in, tuned and done, and. You know, and again, it's not it's not anything that Sax Speed Shop is doing. It's nothing on, on their end. It's just a combination of the the other shit that you know, the people that were responsible for the motor. Uh, like I said, I don't want to play. I don't want to play bam, blame games. I don't want to name anybody. I don't want to point any fingers. Like I don't want to do none of that shit. I literally just want my C5 done and running properly back home, so I can just enjoy it, make content on it, and have fun, man. So. It's just a bummer. Uh, today was kind of like a waste. Went out there, had bad news with the C5. Then I get a call from my cousin because Granny didn't call me because she knows she wasn't supposed to be driving. She called my cousin, and my cousin ended up calling me anyway. So, yeah, so they just suck, man. Bad news on top of bad news all the way around. But, you know, it is what it is. I show y'all everything, man. The good, the bad, the beautiful, the ugly. Uh, I just give it to y'all raw how it is. And, you know things don't go perfect sometimes you have these situations that just fucking absolutely suck and sometimes you have beautiful moments that are just like great so uh we're gonna roll with the punches get through everything and eventually the c5 will be done right uh there's no doubt in my mind about that eventually we will figure out the recipe and get it done and then far as granny goes I'm probably gonna be taking her damn car she'll need to be driving she see how stubborn she is ah uh, so yeah might just take her car maybe i'll take it back to her house and park it there or something but she don't need to be driving i'm like over it she literally went there and didn't have she didn't need nothing she needed nothing she said she was going to get some coffee creamer it's like granny it's four in a four in the afternoon you didn't need no coffee creamer right now i hear her walking grams what you heard me talking smack about you or what what so you heard me you heard me talking smack about you you're always talking smack about me it went and crashed the car. So? What you mean so? It's mine. I hope they don't give it back to you. They is. Yeah, we're gonna call this a day. Just wrap this up. Till next time, man. Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs>